students representing various secondary schools across the six states of the Northeast region participated in the annual Northeast Festival of Literature, Culture and Creativity. Organizers said the event will help the youth to discover their talent and discourage them in political thuggery or other forms of criminality. Uh, my name is Halima Usman. I'm the founder of the Halima Factor Community Initiative and uh, the convener of the annual Gombe Day of Literature and Creativity, which is now the annual Northeast Festival of Literature, Culture and Creativity. Uh, the event has been going on since 2014, and this is the ninth year when it was Gombe Day, and this is the second year that it became the Northeast Festival, where we have students coming from all the states in the Northeast, from Bauchi, Borno, uh, Taraba, Adamawa, and Yobe, including Gombe State, to participate in this very um, creative venture. Um, we started this event because we wanted to give youths an opportunity and a platform to discover their talent, to showcase their talent, and to find a source of livelihood with their talent. There are a lot of youths that um, are talented, yet they are suffering in, in poverty because they don't know what to do. The entirety of this program is to ensure that these youths discover themselves and to know that they can use this talent to become somebody tomorrow. They can use this talent, either it's writing, either it's poetry, whatever it is they're doing, drawing, they can make money. As you can see, one of our artists here, who was a winner in 2017, today he has made a name for himself as uh, the face of Gombe Day or the face of North East uh, Literature um, uh, Festival in his uh, artwork. He always comes to display and a lot of people are buying his artwork. That is an empowerment for him. So this is the whole essence why we are organizing this event to provide a platform to empower and to provide a platform for the youth to grow, to, to find a source of livelihood and to be able to stand on their own going forward. Okay, so um, apart from Gombe Day, even this event, uh, I'm sure somebody may, must have mentioned it during the event, it takes a, a lot of millions of Naira, and I'm not talking about one, two, three, or four, five million Naira to host this event. Because as it's well, we invite people from all the states in the Northeast region, we host them, we feed them for the number of days that they are going to be here, and then we ensure their safety and everything that has to do. We do a lot of things to ensure that the event is successful. So it takes a lot of funding and a lot of commitment. I'm glad we have a number of uh, volunteers who are committed to the cause, who are sacrificing a lot to ensure that the program is a success. But we also need our leaders, our political uh, holders, our businessmen to come in to support us, especially financially, because the, de the future of Nigeria is in the hands of these youth. If we don't give them the opportunity, they become nuisance tomorrow and we will not be able to sleep. All of us will suffer. So we are calling on anybody, any well-meaning Nigerian that has some money that can support us, whether it's your presence, whether it's your money, whether it's even food. Somebody can say, I want to feed you. Give me the number of participants that are coming for a day. I want to feed them. As you can see, we have close to five, over 500 participants every year, every day. So feeding them is not an easy thing. So we are calling on people to support us financially, to support us with their presence, to support us with mentorship, to support us with material. Somebody can say, I have a hotel. You can take the hotel for the period of the event. Let the children stay there. Whatever you want to do to support us, we will be very, very grateful. Um, basically, what we want to achieve is to encourage youth. Like I said, when we started this program, it was when, in the heat of Boko Haram crisis, when a lot of youth were being uh, asked to join Boko Haram because of poverty. You know, some of them were seeing that, okay, at least they will get some money by joining insurgency. And a lot of people are being enticed. Even today, we see politicians using these youth, giving them stipends to go and perpetrate evil. But if we give them an opportunity, they are able to stand on their own. They will not perpetrate this evil. So our intention, what we want to achieve is to ensure that we have youths that are able to stand on their feet and will not venture into any kind of violence or anything that will become detrimental to the society. So this is what we intend to achieve and at the end of it all, to create a harmonious and a peaceful society. Tell us your name why do you plan this event? Okay, my name is Ademola Adeshoye Samwa and... Um, this is Netflix, Northeast Festival of Literature, Culture and Creativity, formerly known as Gombe Day, um, Day of Literature of Culture and Creativity. So um, the reason why we plan this event is to, is to celebrate the talents that we have 
in the northeastern state and to also celebrate the culture that we have in the northeastern state. As you can see that some students um, are awarded some awards based on their performance in poem, prose uh, and also in poetry rather prose and drawing. So the major thing is to celebrate the talent, discover, let them help them to discover what they have and to also grow in them. And to, to make to to give them the, the right um, um, to give them the right uh, motivation based on what they carry inside and to mentorship. Mentorship is key. We can see that some of the people that um, were here from previous years are part of the people are volunteers doing many things. Some are writing books, doing a lot. So that's the major reason why. What support that we need? Well, um, to further our development, just like um, one of the dignitaries said yesterday that that they are looking forward to the event to become national, international, and even global event. But we are looking at starting small, just as we have done. So the, the support we will need is first, we will need support to get more initiative or how we can expand and also financial support from partners, from donors, from people who see our visions and are ready to, to, to buy into the vision and help us to grow better. So we, we, we encourage ideas, we encourage innovations, we encourage initiatives from people outside to also support us in carrying out. Like most of what you are saying today are not the, the sole ideas of the founder. Their, their ideas, initiative that comes from different persons, the volunteers and the staff. Thank you. Okay, my name is uh, Cosmos Johnson. I'm uh, a lecturer with uh, Taraba State Polytechnic. Well, actually, this is not the first time uh, being in this program, the maiden program. Actually, I was here with uh, about uh, three students and one of my students, uh, Hafiz Abdul Wahab, emerged the winner in the senior category, uh, poetry. And uh, this time again, you can see uh, Osa Dashu, my student as well, also emerged winner in the senior category, uh, poetry. Well, what I will keep telling my students is very simple. You know, I've always told them that, look, always go with the mindset of winning. Always go with the mindset of being a champion. And at any point of our presentation or rendition, always try to see that you electrify the environment. You spark up the, the, the environment. And I will actually tell them that this winning is nothing but just the beginning. And they should brace up for greater competitions to image winners. Participants who exhibited extraordinary performance and received various prizes spoke on the experiences gained during the festival and the way forward. This is a program mainly for writers, poets and then artists, that is people who used to draw, paint and then dress. It is a place where people come to share creativity, display talent, and a lot of things. Yeah, Pool Plan, actually, I can say this is just the beginning. Because uh, one of the intentions of me coming here is that, uh, actually, I can say it out that uh, there, there is a competition that is holding this year uh, in December, and it is holding in Abuja. Down to is for pros. Uh, they said that there is a registration fee of 20,000 Naira. Now I said, okay, if that's the case, from what I saw last year in the Halimo Pactos program, I ought to come here, at least try my luck and see if I can get something that will, that will, that will register me for that very program. Since that one is uh, going to be, the winner is going to be awarded with a 1 million cash. So I said, I'm going to, I'm going to come here so that I can have the opportunity of participating there. So this is some of the plan. And uh, I am very glad to say that from the inspiration I got here, when I went back to Damatru last year, I was able to, I was able to uh, establish or create uh, a club that is uh, Gazergamuli Trading Club. And its main objective is 
championing literature and literary activities? It's really challenging and it lets you bring out the creativity. These young Nigerians need support from the government and other stakeholders in the educational sector to further develop their talent and creativity in literature.